Hello everyone, this is Minty Jo and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I'm an American that lives in Italy and on this channel, we talk about lock care, self care, spiritual care, and anything that's gonna help us be the best version of ourselves. Now, for the past 27 lessons, we have been talking about the Prayer of Jabez Challenge. We started that a few months ago and we're almost to the end. We will be finishing the 31st lesson, uh, hopefully in the next week or so. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'd like to invite you right now to be a part of this. It's not too late. Um, we have been studying the Prayer of Jabez, which has taken place in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 9 and 10. Jabez was a man that asked God for specific things and he asked God to bless him, etc., etc., and God answered his prayers. And we have been studying how to also implement these strategies into our lives. So if you haven't seen this, please go ahead and check out my videos and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. So I have a lot to tell you today, important things, so let's get into it with prayer. Father God, we thank you again for another day. And Lord, we're asking for the anointing of your Holy Spirit to open our minds so that we'll be able to understand what it is you want us to know today. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. The last time we were together for Lesson 27, we were talking, or 26, excuse me, we were talking about declarations. We were talking about the importance of declaring, declaring God's promises over our lives, declaring and claiming those promises and writing them down and putting them places and saying this. And we were also talking about if you did this for 21 days, it would help to become a part of your habitual lifestyle because they say within 21 days, you can change your habits. But today I want to talk to you about something very serious Okay, I want to talk to you about who we are fighting against. The Bible specifically tells us that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against principalities in evil places. And so we need to understand that we are in a battle. We are in a real battle. So we're going to talk about this. So I'm going to go ahead and read this text to you, which comes from Ephesians verses 6, uh, Ephesians um, 6, chapter 6, verses 10 through 20. I'm just going to read a little bit at a time. So it says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of the age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So we already know now that we are again going against an enemy and God has given us specifics. Now during the ancient times, the children of Israel, when they were getting ready to prepare for battle, they used to do something called a battle cry. Okay. And the king or the captain would come before them and tell them and remind them why they were battling. And they would say, the battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. Well, these are going to be our battle, battle cries. This is how we are going to be able to implement them so that we can be prepared against the attacks of the enemy. So let's get started very quickly. We are going to be reading from verses uh let me see verses 14. It says, here we go. Uh, verse, excuse me, 13. It says, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand before having gilded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, having showed your feet to the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. 
Now, this is a lot of information and we're not going to be able to go through every single one of these now. But in our next lesson, lesson uh, 28 or 29, we're going to go into specific details because we have to be ready so we can have our battle cry ready and be prepared. This is Minty Joe. I'm so glad that you're here today. Let's end with prayer. Father, I thank you so much for giving us the tools that we need to be successful, dear Heavenly Father, and to know how to defeat the enemy through you. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for all that you have done for us in Jesus' name. Okay, so I will see you in the next lesson and we're going to go through this in in detail and I hope to see you there soon. Thank you for being here. This is Mitty Joe. Arrivederci.